Hey guys, hey guys. Alex, Alex from the Console Warriors here with my best buddy Logan. Hi. We're here to talk to you about the latest that's come out this week here on in on the internets. E three and more. All right. Uh, we, yeah. First, we're going to talk about E three, not specifically Nintendo, because we're Nintendo Bros. I I prefer Nintendo drones, but you know. Well, Nintendo, we love you. Please support our videos. And please don't take it, this off the internet either. Anyway, uh, they, one, one of the biggest things that they showed off this year at E3 was the new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I, I've i seen a little bit of it. It looks different. You know, maybe someday I'll get it. Well, they, I'll de definitely get it, dude. You can get it for the Wii U. And, of course, it'll be simultaneously releasing for the NX, although we still don't know what the NX is. They uh, should be showing that off later this year, though. Um, I, I'm very hyped for it. I mean, it is way different than most other Legend of Zelda games. And, yeah. And they they incorporate a couple of other games, like uh, they, it, like it's very open-worlded. They You have food instead of hearts now. The The... I've seen like uh, one of the, the their little shrine things is it's like a portal puzzle where you're like launching bombs like like how you launched uh, cubes in, in in the portal games yeah. and it's just like a a, a bit of fallout because you like wake up and it, with and you're like buck naked and you gotta collect stuff to survive I mean it it, it's, it just looks so much fun. And, it, and and it's just beautiful. Yeah, I see, I, I don't really buy Zelda games anymore because I never finish them. But, I don't know. Well, if I play it at a friend's house and it's good, maybe. Well, it, the thing about this one is the world is just open-ended. And you can play this game however you want. If you want to, you can, you can never, ever once engage in the story. And you can pretty much go straight to the final boss. Mm-hmm. And it, and anywhere you see in the game, they've only shown off what they say is only about 1% of the game at E3. And it was just this huge demo. Yeah. And, and they showed they, a bunch of gameplay, which is which is more than I can say for most people at E3. Look at this at, CG trailer. And the, and the, the greatest thing is... What the game's going to be. You, you have all this gameplay. You have all this mm -hmm. gameplay... And not even a hint of the story. I mean, you you get like you wake up in like this uh, chamber of resurrection. They didn't spoil anything. Yeah, you wake up and then there's this lady talking to you, and you're practically buck naked. You're just like wearing those shulk shorts. I was about to say, hopefully not actually. Yeah, I, then I, 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 <laughs> the then, new then, Zelda game rated him for mature. Then you pick up your your Sheikah iPad, which. <laughs> Which lets you do do things and with the with the gamepad, which looks really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you find clothes in in the chests. You can put it on, take it off. I I figure eventually that uh, you'll find clothes that ma that look like they're the classic green tunic and hat and all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that that's like the super armor for the game. Like, and they they did show off the master sword in the trailer, kind kind of hidden in, in the woods. So they. You'll definitely be able to find that at some point in the game, and, uh, and it, but it, everywhere you see in the game, the the mountains in the far far north and everything, every as far as the eye can see, you can go there, and that 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 just blows my mind. There's going to be so many secrets. Oh, so many secrets! I mean, Zelda's and, already a franchise known for that, but then you, oh they, man. And you thought they were breaking conventions in a link between worlds with the with the item this, shop. Well, this one isn't breaking conventions. It's just it's almost like a modern Zelda one. It seems like, but with a lot more freedom than even that game had. Because if you go back and play Zelda, barely 1, any hand holding, yeah, you, and you hopefully. you to kind of live off the land. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully there isn't any, you know. Fire, Navi, or whatever. Well, Nate, you do kind of have that voice, but I think it. I think that's more of an optional thing. Maybe, maybe that Zelda talking to you. Maybe that's uh, the spirit of the goddess. Who, who knows? Mm -hmm. 
But you know, basically, you wake up, it's 100 years later, and it, from it's at some point in the timeline, and oh boy, the fanboys are going to be talking about where this shows up in the timeline. It's a brand new continuity. <laughs> well, no. it, well, I'm getting kind of a post-Skyward Sword kind of vibe, uh, they, but they, who, who knows what, where, where, where this takes place on. I'm not I, going. I'm not going to say anything because I'm gonna about where it would fit on the timeline because I don't know about that and I'm just gonna look stupid. Well, I'll I'll lend you my high roll historia one of these days. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it, but yeah, they it, it's just gonna be great. I I I really look forward to the story. Find because they say there will be villages and people you can talk to. Oh, so it's going to be an open world with villages and crafting. So it'll be like no other game in the world. I'm sorry. Hey, that hey, was, it's, that was... it's, it's very <laughs> unique. It's very unique for a Zelda experience. Especially now that we have that game on Wii U. Um... Well, yeah. and anyway. Um, but yeah, they showed off a ton of Zelda. We could go for weeks looked, talking about it, this. It but uh... cool. It looked like a game that make might make people actually buy Nintendo consoles again. Hey man, no no negativity. We we ain't doing none of that negativity here, not here on the console warriors. But uh, <laughs> one of the next things up here on our list is uh, Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Yeah, on Not your said. phone. Oh, I I was talking about Sun and Moon, but yeah, there's Pokemon oh. on your phone. Or I mean, a little plastic thing. Yeah, that it's a thing. You, if you're interested, you can go watch it. Kind of I mean, like a Poke Walker, I guess. Eh, I, 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 I just, I'm just not that big of a Pokemon fan. I mean, I, I like it. Where it's my Poke Walker is. Okay, and uh, ne next up here, I'm not too excited about this one, but uh, they announced uh, a new Mario Party. Yay! Yay! As, in, in case any of you don't know, I am really not that huge of a fan of the Mario Party series. Who but is? uh but they showed they showed this off and uh one one of the things that has been the main their main gimmick for this one is that you you no longer have to wait for your turn. Oh yeah, everyone can just Yeah, it's everyone like moves. Everyone moves at the same time, which I thought was the point of them all traveling in that little car and like Mar in 9 and 10. Which is pro so basically, even though it is another Mario Party game, a franchise that we both really don't like, it's probably at least going to be better than Smash Tour. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I, and I, am I being too negative? Well, I'm being it, too negative. Well, I give it props for trying <laughs> to fix it, it, some of the problems I had mm -hmm. with it, but I don't really plan on picking it up. But what I am interested in is the amiibo that will that that they're releasing to oh, coincide with this. Yes. Please. Yes. We get Wal Waluigi for the first time as an amiibo. Waluigi. But yes, I, I I'm sorry. I should be less negative on this. Except I the thing is like I really hate Nintendo. That's why I have 22 amiibos and like a hundred. Nintendo games, um, but yes, I I will definitely buy the Waluigi amiibo. I that thing's gonna sell out. I'm telling you, like that. Well, it's not gonna last long. Well, they also have um, a new pose for Wario, Daisy, and a new yeah. Rosalina amiibo. Oh, yeah, I might get the Daisy one. Because I am Daisy. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, I I bought like the Toad one because I kind of want to get the Mario Party characters that aren't in Smash. Hey, what what if we made an actual board game using the Mario amiibos? It would it would be more fun than actual Mario Party, probably. Or better yet, we just play Monopoly with the with the with the Mario characters as our tokens. The, don't they have that? Uh, I think they have Nintendo Monopoly. They do, but no, they have like the Mario Edition Monopoly. Okay, and um, here we go. Um. Speaking of Toys to Life, they there was also an announcement for Skylanders. Who cares? Well, the, <laughs> this one is a bit interesting. They're bringing Crash Bandicoot into the game. Ah. 
but are they going to make him look like an ugly purple spiky pug like Spyro does? Mm, well, they, I haven't seen much about it, and I'm not a big Skylanders fan, but mm-hmm. it, it is interesting to, to see that they're bringing Crash back, and they're also remastering some of his old games in HD. So, that, I've never I've never actually played a Crash Bandicoot game. I need to play some of the old ones on like PS1. Oh, I, I, I used to play some of the old PS1 games uh, back back at a summer camp that, that I went to. Yeah, I was about to say, Alex, you had a PlayStation? That that doesn't seem... No, like no, they they had an old, an old PS1, and they, mm-hmm. they had one or two of the Crash games. They also had a Rugrats game, but uh, <laughs> Crash... Crash was was pretty, was okay for me. It was it was pretty fun to play. Although I'm a huge Nintendo bro. Yeah. And the only reason I have a PS3 is because Logan was gave me his old one. So you could play Sonic Generations on it. And, and Portal Two. And Deadpool. And Kingdom Hearts Two, mm-hmm. but and yeah. watch Blu-rays. <laughs> that too. Uh, but move. Also, in the Toys to Life community, we, we, we've kind of touched this, on this before, but they showed off even oh, more of the new LEGO Dimensions Wave 6. Unfortunately, no Sonic. Yeah, because Sonic's going to be like... Uh, I, I I believe they said he, he'll be November. releasing in the November wave, mm-hmm. but um, I, I, no, no Sonic footage, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe they'll show it off at the party. Stay, stay tuned to the Council Warriors on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. It, and we'll be there live with updates right, on, on on every every time they they say something new there at e, at uh, the Sonic Twenty Fifth party in San Diego. I'm mm. so hyped for that. Yeah. Um. But, what else? I think they, but I think they had almost everything that they showed off in the trailer. At well, E3, um, except for like, I think the A Team stuff. Oh, well, they Harry Potter stuff. Well, they they showed off some some of the characters working on it. Uh, they showed off a little bit of uh, the Ghostbuster story pack. Um, they and they showed off uh, how how uh, the the Gremlins work a little bit. But like for instance, if you eat the Scooby snack that comes with the Scooby Doo team pack as Gizmo, then he'll turn into a Gremlin. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember them talking about that. Um, that- I mean, that, and we that got was... to actually see the uh, Gizmo minifigure, which was great for me because that is one of my favorite movies. Um, I, I, wonder, I wonder if it'll be like uh, the Bart minifigure where you couldn't move his legs. I, I thought that was a little annoying. The, with you mean like the uh, the little legs that they have for like yeah yeah, yeah the, it's the it's the mini the mini Hobbit figures. legs. Yeah, they 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 don't they yeah, don't move at all. And they have those for Gizmo, but not for the uh, the fed after midnight form. Hmm. Well, like the they, gremlin form, I guess. Well, they. I mean, it, it is the first time we we see G- Gizmo as a gremlin since he never turns in the films. Yeah. We also got confirmation that um, when you play as Sloth from the Goonies, you'll be able to play as all of the Goonies in in game. From the one figure, yeah, kind of, kind of like how uh, the, the the Peter, Peter Bankman, Bankman figure. yes. Um, they, although they, although I think all of the char- characters playable are just clones, mm-hmm. so it they, so it's not that that big of a deal. Well, but... I guess if they had to release a Goonie mini, mini good, I can't speak a Goonie mini figure. It's a good thing they picked uh, Sloth because otherwise it would have just been some generic kid. Well, what what about like the uh, gamer one? Or what about uh, what I forget his name? The one that does the truffle shuffle. Oh, Chunk. Yeah, they yes. had to make like a fat mini fig body. Oh. Nah. I, I. But how would you do the truffle shuffle in Lego? Uh, I guess. I guess he. It, they have like a mini figure of him with his shirt up, and then he just kind of like wiggles his arms. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, oh, okay, so here's this that has uh, nothing to do with E3 or whatever, but here's a fun bit of trivia. Someone actually bought the house that was used in the movie, um, and she had to move out because people kept going to the house, like standing in front of the windows and doing the truffle shuffle. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, back, 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 to, back to E3. Um, mm-hmm. they, what, what else did they show off for LEGO Dimensions? Um, they... It showed a little bit of the Mission Impossible level. Uh, they, 
I'm not a big. I'm not that big of a Mission Impossible fan. I haven't seen fan. any of them, even though I have the VHS sitting above me, on my well, shelf. Well, I mean, it 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 all looks very interesting. They also showed off some of Adventure Time. Yeah, which I haven't watched in. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. But uh, yeah. hey, speaking of which, I, Your speaking of which, uh, they, there, hey, when when is uh, darn it. yeah. Speaking of which, uh, hey, Star Wars, uh, might, you think that'll come to Lego Dimensions? Oh, definitely. Like Marvel, maybe Star Wars has to come to Lego Dimensions. Like if they, I think if they could get it into the Lego Movie, then they can get it into the game. Oh yeah, they're they're also doing Lego Batman, with it led the Lego Batman movie, which yeah. looks hilarious. Definitely gonna see that. It's gonna be better than the last Batman movie that came out. That's for sure. Now the question I have is: it would is is uh, the Lego Batman movie Batman the same as the leg as the Lego movie Batman Batman? Oh my god. My head. Is, are we getting three Batman or is it just the two Batman? Because in the because in the original starter pack, Le, uh, Lego Movie Batman and Lego Batman the Video Game Batman kind of got into a hissy fit about it. Are, I think it's at. Oh my god! What if what if we ch- changed Lego uh, Dimensions into just Lego Batman? Every character is a variation of Batman. Well, they, Lego Dimensions, the starter pack, it levels and everything. It's just basically Lego Batman the video game starring everybody from everything. Mm-hmm. Although I am interested in seeing how the Powerpuff Girls figures are, are going to be incorporated. Yeah. And oh. I want a Mojo Jojo pa- fun pack. I want my Beetlejuice minifigure. They're doing Beetlejuice? Yeah. Oh man, they they haven't showed that off yet. They haven't, haven't they? It, but it was in the uh, picture of the all the logos. Remember? All right, all right, let, let's do it. Here we go. We, maybe if we say his name three times, then then sorry, they'll show my off. My cat's footage. digging its claw into my knee. Get get off. Um. All right. Beetlejuice. 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 Juice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh no! The Beetlejuice star is going to crash into the sun. Ah. <laughs> nah. Anyway, uh. Hey, move, moving on. Uh, hey, one one final topic that I wanted to get into was uh, they they showed off a lot more of the new Paper Mario game Color Splash for Wii U. Mm-hmm. Um, they now there's been quite a lot of controversy around the internet on this subject. I for one am am very 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 excited for this. Um, I I while it while it it takes a little bit too much of of sticker stars mechanics from what we've seen. Uh, it looks like they might have improved on it. I, I, I'm going to buy the game nonetheless, and it, I'm sure I will, in, I will enjoy it just fine. Uh, it's a little disappointing though, that, uh, they, they've kind of given up on the whole RPG aspect of paper Mario. Yeah. Cause in an interview by game explain, uh, I believe it was the director. Uh, she, she stated that, um, they, they see uh, they see the Mario and Luigi RPG series as their core RPG series, and that Paper Mario has kind of become this this series where they experiment with the with these new concepts, and that and that's very upsetting for many out there in the community. But uh, they there I I'm there there is hope though. Hey, I. I'm I'm here to announce here today on the console warriors that I have joined with it, it with a with a game developer. It is his name is Lucas Lucas Max Brothers XL. You can look him up on YouTube. Link in the description below. Um, he he has started a project where it, we are making a we're going to make our own RPG that's inspired by the original Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, and the original 64 game. And it it'll it'll have its own characters, partners. Um uh, I'll I'm I'm joining on as a writer. Um stay tuned on Twitter and it, and it, for future updates on, on the progress of this game and um for any 
programmers out there and any any artists or or, or music people, anybody that can program, uh, please please uh, re- reach out to to Lucas Max Bros. Follow him on Twitter. I'll have the link in the description. Um, they, they sh- give a shout out to him, and he'll he'll send you a link to to where it, to where everyone on the group is working on. Anyway, back to uh, Color Splash. What what are your opinions, Logan? It doesn't look terrible. I don't know. I'll wait for reviews, because um, I don't like spending $60 on a game. Well, I don't usually buy a game immediately, but like, well, I'll, I'll, we'll see. Honestly, I'm not too big into Mario these days. I, Nintendo in general, in the past several years, I've been kind of drifting away from, which is kind of sad, but... I, I'll buy it if it's good because I I have liked the I have liked most of the Paper Mario games that I've played so you know <laughs> um because the only ones that I've played are uh, the original Super and Sticker Star I hated Sticker Star played it for like five hours and I'm like no I'm I'm done I'm sending it back and. The other two, though, I really liked, and I had a chance to buy uh, Thousand Year Door. All right, this is sad story time, guys. So one day, um, my mom's now ex-boyfriend, but we lived with him at the time, took me to GameStop. And I could get two GameCube games. So I got Super Smash Bros. Melee. Thank God, because that game's like $60 now. And Star Fox Adventures. I could have gotten Thousand Year Door, but he's like, it's a Mario game, You'll it'll probably more com- be more common, and you'll probably have another chance to buy it some other time. And you passed off on one of the greatest RPGs released on the GameCube. But I did get one of the best competitive fighting games released on the GameCube, a.k.a. one of, like, three of them. Well, they, well one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. And of course, I've already sold Star Fox Adventures because, no, I'm well, not playing that game anymore. Well, I, I I look forward to seeing more of Color Splash. Uh, it, it may not be the best Paper Mario game. Mm-hmm. May, that I I give that one to Thousand Year Door, but to, it definitely look, looks fun enough for me. And uh, and anybody out there with with your negative opinions, it, please feel free to share them. But I. I've made up my mind, but they, but that I am I do feel the need to contribute to it, to making a game inspired by one of the greatest Mario RPGs out there. So I I, I will be putting some genuine heart in into this upcoming game, but and the project's code name for the time being is Vivid Detail. Yeah, keep keep a lookout for for more news in the upcoming months. Now, is there anything you would like to add, Logan, before uh, we we close out for today? Um, are we done talking about Nintendo's E three stuff? Oh, sure. Yeah, I could yeah. talk about some other E three stuff. Oh, gone. If, if, you, if you have anything else you want to share, um, so of course there were the other conferences. Uh, I think what uh, Microsoft was like, we're gonna have like twenty new models of the Xbox One. Who cares? I mean, honestly, who owns an Xbox One? Okay, well, more people than own a Wii U, but still. Um, but, you know, everyone else had their conferences. Ubisoft had a disappointing one, as usual, with games that'll probably look worse when they actually come out, as is Ubisoft tradition. But there was one... Well, there were two games that I saw at E3 that got me excited. And one of them... Uh, they were, I think they were both playable at E3, yeah. Uh, there was Injustice 2, which... I got Injustice 1 not that long ago, and I, I like it. It's it's a pretty good fighting game, so I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll pick up Injustice 2. Um, and, of course, this one has Gorilla Grodd in it, so any fighting game that lets you play as a gorilla is going to be pretty good. And they also All showed the off... Smash games. Yes. <laughs> and they also showed off uh, Tekken 7, which is a game... I have been waiting for, for you don't know how long. But they showed off a bit of the story mode 
And at first it looked like another CG trailer, because you know how developers are with a show-off CG trailer with no gameplay, which is something Nintendo doesn't really do, and one of the reasons why I like Nintendo. Um, But... It looked it just it looked like a normal story trailer or whatever, but then it switched to the gameplay, because the, the story mode kind of reminded me of Injustice, um, where it has cutscenes and then you do like a quick time event and it affects like how like if you do the quick time event right, your enemy will have a bit of health taken away, vice versa, um, so that looked pretty good. And, there, there's some gameplay stuff, and apparently the PC version runs really well, so it's not just going to be like a, you know, last minute crappy port. It's going to be really good, um, which is exciting because I'm buying the game on PC because I want, I want my mods. Yeah, that those are basically the things that excited me at E3. Well, uh, thanks, Logan. Uh, Nate. I think that's all we have time for today here but on the Console Warriors. But th- thanks, everyone, so much for watching.